Welcome to Dog Solid Channel, and today we are doing an in-depth dog review on the Multipoo. Be sure to watch this comprehensive video all the way to the end to make sure that you don't miss out on any valuable information that could help you decide if the Multipoo is the right dog for you. The Multipoo is known as a designer dog, and these energetic pups are a relatively new breed that falls into the popular poodle mixes. The Multipoo is a cross between the Maltese and the poodle. This small nature poodle mix with its rounded head and floppy ears will always carry in the appearance of a puppy forever, but we'll discuss that later in the video. Without further ado, let's dive into this comprehensive guide on the Multipoo. History. It's unclear who the first breeder of the Multipoo was, but it is assumed that it made its first debut in the USA. The Multipoo will be small in stature, and that is due to the Multipoo's poodle parent, which will be one of the two smaller poodle sizes, toy or miniature. Also, breeding these purebreds will get you a puppy that will always remain a puppy, well, at least in appearance. Crossbreeds can have unknown genetic history, and that's why we can learn a lot from their parents. Let's take a look at the purebreds genes that make up the Multipoo. The Maltese. The original lap dog, otherwise known as the Maltese, hails from the central Mediterranean region of Malta. These low shedding lap dogs have either wavy or curly hair with no undercoat. 10 inches is as tall as the Maltese will get, and it can weigh up to 10 pounds. Characteristic of the Maltese is that they are intelligent dogs that love human interactions. Next, we have the toy or miniature poodle. The other half of the Maltipoo, the poodle, is probably one of the most popular breeds in the world. Just to give some example about how famous the poodle is, it is the seventh most popular breed in America, and it also hails as France's national dog. The Poodle possesses so many amazing traits, such as being recognized as the second most intelligent dog behind the Collie, and they are also known for their signature hypoallergenic curls. Appearance If you want a small-sized pooch, then look no further, as the Multipoo will be a teacup or a tiny toy size, since its parents are small breeds. The size of a Multipoo can vary depending on whether the Poodle parent is a toy or miniature. This Poodle mix can grow between 8 to 14 inches tall and can weigh anywhere between 5 to 20 pounds. The coloring of the coat of the Multipoo can vary widely depending on their poodle heritage. They can be very light colored or have a dark solid color. The Multipoos can be brown, red, white, black, silver, cream color, apricot, and more. Temperament with other children and other animals. These social dogs get along well with children, however smaller Multipoos should be supervised at home with kids younger than six years old due to the fact that they can be easily injured. With any breed, you should always teach children how to interact with your dog. Multipoos generally get along with other dogs and pets, whether or not they're raised with them, but it is always best to make sure that your poodle mix is socialized at an early age. Health Issues The lifespan of the Multipoo is estimated between 12 to 13 years. One of the advantages of having crossbreeds is that it enlarges the gene pool, allowing them to suffer less health issues than that of a purebred. However, there are some health conditions to be aware of with the Multipoo. Here are the most common ailments. White Shaker Syndrome, Epilepsy, Patellar Luxation, Portosystemic Shunt, Progressive Retinal Atrophy, Leg Calf Perth's Disease. That's why it is imperative to make sure that both parents of your potential Multipoo have a clean health clearance. Also look to make sure that your breeder doesn't breed their dogs until they are two or three years old because some health problems don't appear until a dog reaches full maturity. Training. As stated many times in the video, the Poodle and Maltese mix is highly intelligent and can be quite easy to train. These dogs are also extremely sensitive and respond really well to positive reinforcement training methods, and they will also tend to shut down when their owners use aggressive tactics such as yelling and harsh words. Aggressive tactics can also damage the relationship between you and your dog. Since the Multipoos are fast learners, housebreaking and simple commands come at ease. These dogs can also excel in obedience and agility settings. Feeding. The good thing about the Multipoo is that feeding them will not burn a hole in your pocket. With any dog, the amount of food you give to your dog depends on its age, size, activity level, and build. The recommended feeding for the Multipoo in order to keep them healthy is about 5 eighths to 1 and a half cups of top quality dog food divided into two feedings. The higher the food quality, the less it needs. And the higher the activity level of your fur ball, the more food you should feed it. Make sure you keep your dog from becoming overweight by feeding it with the appropriate meals twice a day, rather than leaving food out available all day long for it. You can tell if your Multipoo is getting too fat if you can no longer spot a waist and if you can't feel its ribs without having to press really hard. Grooming 
Low shedding with fluffy, soft wool texture perfectly describes the Multipoo. The Multipoo's fur will depend on the pedigree of the parents, and it can be medium to long in length and ranges from slightly wavy to curly. In order to keep the Multipoo's coat clean and free of mats, it will need daily brushings. The maintenance of the Multipoo is not that difficult, as they generally only need trimmings once or twice a year, but their heads should be trimmed monthly. Bathing should be a part of the grooming routine and should be done at least once a month to keep the coat soft and clean. Other grooming needs include brushing their teeth and nail care. The Multipoo's teeth should be brushed at least two or three times a week, while the nails should be cut once or twice a month. It's recommended to start grooming the Multipoo when it's a puppy and to make grooming a positive experience by using praises and rewards. Exercise. Even though these designer dogs have plenty of energy and don't require much exercise, brisk walks in the morning and the evening is more than enough to keep these dogs happy. The Multipoo is an ideal dog for those who live in small apartments in the city, and they can also live in the suburbs with a yard of their own. Of course, the Multipoo should never be left off the leash to run unless it is in a fenced yard or secure dog park. Cost. You can expect to pay between $400 up to $2,000 for the Multipoo puppies depending on the breeder. On average, be prepared to pay about $700 to $800 for a Multipoo puppy from a reputable breeder. As stated before, make sure to visit the puppy in person to look out for red flags. Beware of online sales and puppies sold in stores. You want to see the environment they have been cared for in before taking them home and also eliminate the possibility that they come from puppy mills. Multipoo Breeders since Multipoo is a crossbreed, it is not recognized by the American Kennel Club and other official canine organizations, but the good news is that you should be able to find some reputable breeders around the country. When it comes to finding a breeder, you want to make sure that you pick one that will welcome potential buyers in their homes so that you can see for yourself how the puppy is living and how it is being raised. Also, a good breeder will want to meet you before giving you a puppy in order to ensure that it gets a good home with good owners. I will state this again. Please stay away from puppies sold in pet stores because very often they are victims of large-scale puppy mills which treat the dogs inhumanely and use them for breeding purposes only in terrible conditions. The Cons No dog breed is perfect and this wouldn't be a complete video if we didn't mention some of the cons of the Maltipoo. If you do not want a yappy dog who barks all the time when they see something or someone, then this is not the dog for you. Some owners describe the Maltipoo as a small guard dog. Separation anxiety is another con to the personality of the Multipoo as they hate being alone. If you don't have time to spend with these dogs, then you might need to consider another breed. Grooming was mentioned earlier, and one way that it can be a con is that the grooming can become expensive and you must brush them daily to prevent tangled and matted fur. Adopting Unfortunately, these designer dogs can be an impulse buy for people who have no experience with dogs. The good side to this statement is that you may be able to find abandoned Multipoos at your local shelter. You may be interested in adopting if you don't want to shell out a lot of money or if you don't want to raise a puppy or if you just want to give an unfortunate Multipoo a home. You probably won't find a Multipoo specific shelter, but you might be able to find some in a Poodle or Maltese shelter. There are so many reasons why you should adopt, but that could be another video on its own. You can help provide a forever home to an abandoned puppy rather than going out and shopping for one. Overall. If you decide on adding a Multipoo to your family, you will have an adorable puppy-like dog which will love you endlessly and will want to spend all day on your lap or outdoors playing. If you adopt one of these beautiful and intelligent little creatures, your home will be filled with love, fun, happiness, and a lot of cuddling every day. Hopefully this video has provided enough information to help you begin your journey on deciding whether or not the Multipoo is the perfect dog for you. And if this video missed anything out, please leave a comment below and let us know. Thank you for watching this video and check out my playlist on the different poodle mixes and other videos. The link below is in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Dog Solid channel and I will see you in the next video.